Berkeley High School is investigating a racist incident during a basketball game. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live in Wellesley. Ken, the school actually put new rules in place for this evening's game. Yeah, Lisa, this was Wellesley's last regular season home game, and they won. But the game was very sparsely attended after unsupervised students were banned from the stands. Warm-ups before this afternoon's game were uneventful, unlike last Friday night's Wellesley-Weymouth matchup, where student fans in the Wellesley section barked racial slurs at some black Weymouth players. Mostly just feel really sorry that guests in our building you know, had to be, you know, subjected to that. That's not, um, it's not who we are. The stands were full then, but not so today, partly because no Wellesley students were allowed to attend without a parent. And no one who did was allowed to sit in the front row. It's just very sad, and I hope that we get to the bottom of it and people get a bit more educated and become less ignorant. Apparently, some of the loudmouth students spilled onto the court after last Friday's game and again taunted the Weymouth players for losing. But at this point, none of the teens who tossed racial slurs have been identified. I'm really disappointed to, to hear that um, the kids were involved. Um, it was Wellesley kids involved. I was very upset and uh, it's just not acceptable. Uh, be it be the players or the students, any other students, you shouldn't be doing that. Both schools have issued statements condemning the incident and praising their basketball players and coaches for not losing their cools and making the volatile situation worse. Wellesley's principal has apologized and promised not only to get to the bottom of it, but to urge a constructive dialogue. This is a moment we can't shy away from and we just, you know, we have to confront it and um, do the best we can. School administrators are urging anyone who has information on the racial slurs to please come forward. They say any student they're able to ID will be subject to disciplinary action. Live at Wellesley High School tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. All right, Ken, thank you.